Hi, yeah, this is the first lesson on the A2 integration pack. So make sure you can hear me because I'm using one of the mics instead of the head headset. Um, let's have a look at this pack. So we're going to look at the independent work on the first couple of pages. So it's just a recap of what we did last year. Right. So if you remember, with differentiation, you put the power at the front and take one off the power. But for integration, you reverse it. So you add one to the power. And you divide by the new power. There. And that's what this equation here tells you you're doing. Add one to the power, divide by the new power. So if I look at this one, it's 3 times by, add 1 to the power is 6, divide by the new power is 6. And if you remember, we have a constant on the end as well. So that cancels down as a half x to the 6 plus c, and that's done. Right. We can take this equation, which has been differentiated, and we can integrate it to go back to the original equation. So if you integrate dy by dx, it goes back to y. If you integrate 3x squared, it goes to 3x cubed over 3. So I know that y is actually x cubed. And the 4x becomes 4x squared over 2. So that's going to be a 2x squared. And don't forget the plus c there. So with that now, that actually gives me an infinite amount of curves all on top of each other. So I need to fix it through the point 1, 6, 1, 5. So I'm going to use 1, 5. So 5 is 1 cubed plus 2 times 1 squared plus c. So 5 is 3 plus c, so c is 2. So I've done the maths, I need to make sure that I write the final answer with the correct equation. The correct equation is y equals x cubed plus 2x squared plus 2. And that's example 2 done now. Right, let's have a look at example 3. So example 3 asks you to find the area enclosed uh, between the, the curve and the y and the x-axis. So you can tell from your picture that that's a 2. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to integrate it between 0 and 2. So what's my equation? 4 minus x squared. So if you remember now, with limits, it finds the area. And I use square brackets. So I've got 4x minus a third x cubed between 0 and 2. And I sub in the limits, the upper limit first. So I've got 4 lots of 2 minus a third 2 cubed minus the lower limit, which in this case is a 0. But it's not always the case that if you put 0 in, you get 0 out. But that gives us uh, what we've got. So we've got 8 minus 8 over 3. So that's 16 over 3. Minus nothing from the second. So I've got 16 over 3. It's an area, so I'm just going to put units squared. While I'm here, I might as well show you how to find it on the calculator. So you can use your calculator to aid you. So if I go into graph, get rid of them from this morning, and I've got 4 minus x squared. Set my axes how I want it. So I want it from 0 to 2 going across. So 0, I always go a bit further, 2.1. And it's going up to 4, so 0 to 4.1. There. That'll give me a nice picture. Right then, if I do G solve, so F5, then F6 for the extra, and you can see it's got Y cal, it's got X cal, and it's got integrate. So I pressed F3 to integrate. And I press F1 just in case I was unsure. Now I need to put in a lower limit. It says at the top, select your lower limit. 
Now my lower limit is zero, so I just press zero and it brings it up in the box and then exit. But now I need an upper limit, which is two. So I'm going to put two in and exit. There. And it gives me 5.333, which is five and a third, which is 16 over three. There. So remember your calculator on graphing works it out numerically so you don't get fractions. So it's there to use as a checker. Right. So that's the end of page three, got 16 over three units. Let's have a look at the next page then. Okay. So this is asking for the area between two curves. Right. So it says, um, so last year we, we, we met between a line and a curve, but it's the same idea. Uh, I need to solve them simultaneously, so I'm going to put them equal to each other. So my plan is to put equal to each other, then rearrange and solve. There. So I've got x minus 1 squared is equal to minus 2x squared plus 2. So I've got x squared minus 2x plus 1 is minus 2x squared plus 2. If I take that all over, it's 3x squared, it's minus 2x, and it's minus 1 is equal to 0. There. Now if I put that into poly, so 3, minus 2, and minus 1 in poly, it gives me x is minus a third and x is 1. And you can kind of see that from there. So that's minus a third and that's 1. So I want this area here contained. Right, so now it talks about different methods. So one way is to do, to take the equations away. Now I always do the top equation, take the bottom equation. So whichever equation's on top. So my top equation is the, two, the minus 2x squared plus 2. There. So I'm going to do a minus 2x squared, is it plus 2? So that's my top equation because it's on the top. There, look, see, it's on the top. And this is my bottom equation, which was the x minus 1 all squared. So that is take away x squared, oops, minus 2x plus 1. So that gives me minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 1 there. If you get it the wrong way round, you just get the sign on the answer the wrong way round. You'll get a negative area. So now I would integrate this between minus a third and 1. So that would give me minus x cubed plus x squared plus x between a third and one. So if I put one in, I've got minus one cubed plus one squared plus one minus a third, oops, can't see that there, can you? I'll wonk it go up a bit. Minus a third. Oops. Minus a third in brackets cubed plus a third squared plus a third. Now the completed pack says that gives an answer of 32 over 27. I'm just gonna pause the vid for a second. Um, I'm, running, I'm running out of time now, I've got 9 minutes 25 on the clock, so I've got to stop there, but I'm going to show you in the next video, um, I'm just going to show you how to work that out on the calculator. Okay, see you later, bye bye.